Good morning to you. It's 4 a.m. on this Wednesday, April the 5th, and here are today's top headlines. Former President Donald Trump speaking out just hours after pleading not guilty to 34 felony counts, the latest on the case against him. And the hunt for an arsonist who has been torching streets and setting dumpsters on, dumpsters on fire in a local neighborhood. And hundreds of undercover LAPD officers say their lives are in danger as the department shared sensitive information, including their identities. They are now fighting back. The early edition of the KTLA 5 Morning News starts right now. Well, good morning to you on what Henry likes to call hump day. Or hump day. <laughs> I'm Chris Shaw. I'm Megan Henderson. Glad you're with us. Check your commute with Jacob yeah. shortly. First, let's talk about the weather. Yeah, getting better. You a know, better, yeah. yeah. A little better, less a little wind. windy. Yeah, still a little windy, yeah. still a little cool at times, but the sun was out. We're going to see less winds, more sunshine, and a warm up. You're going to feel a big warm up today, or at least a noticeable one. And then we have a really nice weekend ahead. Good morning, everybody. We'll take you out live to Long Beach. This live shot never disappoints. It's looking gorgeous out there this morning. And we are looking at those winds considerably dying down yesterday. We're looking at some 10 to 15 mile per hour winds. No wind advisory, just a breezy forecast for some. The winds not an issue at all. Nice to see 70s creeping back into the forecast. We'll see some of that in the San Fernando Valley in Orange County should be right around 71. The IE close just a couple degrees behind. And this is the start of a warm up that will probably add a good 10 degrees by the time we get to Sunday and Monday of next week. So we are looking for a warm up and a dry forecast, Ginger, which is very nice on this Wednesday morning. All right, yes, and we have so many things that are going on for you drive this morning. I mean, it's really construction, right? Because we know they're trying to make up for all the stuff that uh, they weren't able to do and work on. So this project is very inconsistent, actually. If your plans take you onto that five freeway, the northbound side of the five. So. If your plans take you right here at Valley View over to right at about the 91 up to Valley View Street. That's where we still have the construction. It is for all lanes. If your plans take you here, you've got to know that they're going to have to detour you off the freeway and then it will be a bit of a pain on the, you know, headache for anybody driving here. We'll take you over to look at the other stuff that's going on. 10 eastbound side alternating lane closures here for your plans taking you onto the 10 eastbound side of town avenue those lanes closed alternating lane closures so that means at times it'll let you through in one lane and then another lane that kind of thing uh, it is going to happen until about five o'clock the 60 is one way to go but i don't think it's going to be a huge delay going east all right guys back to you ginger thank you former president donald trump has been ordered back to a new york courthouse in December. This after his arraignment on 34 felony counts. The former president spoke to his supporters last night at his estate in Florida hours after leaving New York City. Prosecutors accuse him of falsifying business records. Like the former president pleaded not guilty to each count yesterday and calls the case a witch hunt. The only crime that I have committed is to fearlessly defend our nation from those who seek to destroy it. You understand this, it's as simple as this. A state prosecutor is prosecuting a federal election law violation that doesn't exist according to federal election law officials. It's as simple as that. The participant scheme was illegal. The scheme violated New York election law, which makes it a crime to conspire to promote a candidacy by unlawful means. The Manhattan DA, who you just saw right there, Alvin Bragg, says when former President Donald Trump reimbursed Cohen with monthly payments. In 